this video, I will show you how to use the cp command in Linux for copying files and directories. And I will explain this command with the help of six examples in the Ubuntu terminal. Let's begin. The cp command, short for copy, is designed to effortlessly copy files to directories. When invoked, the cp command takes a source file and duplicates it to a specified destination file or directory. The syntax of cp command includes the command followed by options and the source file and finally the destination file where the content will be copied to. To see the options, open the terminal and go to the manual page with this command. Scroll down and you can see a list of all the options. Let's go back by pressing Q. Now I will show you six examples of using this basic command. With the first example, let's go through the steps of copying a file named file1.txt into a new file in your current working directory. Verify the copy by typing this command. In the output, you will observe that cp command successfully created a copy of the existing file1 with the new name file2 and the cat command confirms that the content of both these files is the same. In this example, I will demonstrate how to copy file1 and file2 into an empty directory named destination which I have created beforehand. To verify the copied files, let's view the contents of the destination directory. You can see that cp command has copied the files in this new directory. When it comes to duplicating a directory, the command syntax is different. Here I will be copying the sports directory, the destination directory. Now execute this command. You can see that the sports directory has been successfully copied to the destination directory. By default, the cp command overwrites the destination when copying the source. To avoid unintentional overwrites, use the i option with cp command. In this example, I have two files, file1 and file2, which have different contents written within them. Press Y, this will allow the overwriting. Then enter this command. As you can see, the contents of file 1 is now copied to file 2. Sometimes it's important to have a backup of the file where the content is copied to. In order to do that, you must use the B option. As you can see, I have two files, file1 and file2, which have different text written inside them. Now follow these steps to copy while keeping backup of the destination file. After that, let's view the contents. See, this is the backup file. Now, let's see what's written inside file 2 and its backup file. The output shows that file 2 has the content copied from file 1, while the backup has the original content. By utilizing the wildcard character, you can match specific patterns without specifying the full names. For instance, execute this command if you want to copy files that start with F. To verify this, run the ls command again. You can see that all the files were copied successfully.
That was all about the CP command. I hope after practicing these examples, you will become a pro at copying files and directories in Linux. To get better insights about this command, I recommend you to go through the article and comments in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Linux content.